Some of you may remember when we went to the San Vitale shipyard in Ravenna to visit Rossetti super yachts. At the time, they were building their very first custom super yacht, a 38 meter steel and aluminum explorer vessel. Well, that yacht has been delivered. She's called Emotion, and she's making her international debut at the 2021 Cannes Boat Show. And we're gonna pick up the story from where we left off last time. But first, here's a quick recap. The yacht is 38.15 meters long, with a beam of 8.85 meters, and is rated at 432 gross tons. The exterior design and naval architecture is by Sergio Kutolo of Hydrotech, and she has a round bilge displacement hull. Power comes from twin man engines for a top speed of 30 knots and a cruising speed of 10 or 11 knots. Rossetti Super Yachts may be a new brand, but it can draw on almost 100 years of shipbuilding experience as part of the Rossetti Marino Group, a key Italian player in the construction of offshore platforms and supply vessels. Reliability was very high on the list of priorities for the owners, and they chose to build with the shipyard precisely because that commercial experience is ideally suited to building a rugged vessel designed to travel for long distances in possibly adverse conditions. La Rosetti Super Yacht può trarre vantaggio da questa esperienza del gruppo Rosetti Marino in tantissimi modi. Il primo sono le facilities. Abbiamo un cantiere molto grande qui nella, nel porto di Ravenna con 10.000 metri quadrati di capannone, abbiamo 100.000 metri quadrati di area dove poter realizzare quindi questo tipo di imbarcazioni. Dopodiché il, il supporto è quello della, del know-how dell'azienda di fare project management. Le tempistiche anche nel mondo dell'offshore sono fondamentali, quindi come gestire un progetto di realizzazione lo sappiamo molto bene. Ultimo direi anche gli aspetti di qualità. Noi questa grande qualità la vogliamo portare anche nel mondo delle super e nei nostri super yacht. Now I know what you're thinking, Emotion doesn't look like an explorer yacht and you'd be absolutely right. There's no open aft deck for tenders and toys with huge cranes on show, but appearances can be deceiving because she has huge spaces around 700 square meters in total and her gross tonnage is more typical of larger yachts. So plenty of space and volume for storage and tankage for long journeys without having to refuel or reprovision. In fact, at an economical 10 knots, she has a range of 5,000 nautical miles. So in terms of functionality and performance, she ticks all the right explorer boxes. Stepping inside, the main salon was just an empty shell when we went aboard during construction at the shipyard. And I must say that the interior renderings I saw then don't do justice to the final result. Finally, we get to see the finished product. Finally, right. Uh, you might remember the yard last time we saw each other was just an empty shell. That's right. Yeah. And now you can see the, the final thing, uh, our first baby. So we have the conversation area here. Yep. Then we have a cabinet on port side and this huge wine cellar at starboard side. I remember you talking about the, the, the wine cellar uh, with the mirrored ceiling, so it looks like it's on two floors. And this is between the two ventilation shafts for the engine room, yeah? Correct. Okay. Uh, great Fantastic. memory. <laughs> Up to 150 bottle. Okay. I, have, uh, I haven't counted them yet, but maybe they're a little bit more. Maybe it's more than yeah, 150. Yeah. Then we have this dining area here with the uh, sliding door at both sides to get ventilation, fresh air. Sea breeze, yep. And the staircase uh, with the piece of art uh, moving forward. They had owner's cabin with the fixed balcony at starboard side, mm -hmm. while here on, uh, on port side we have the galley. The interior concept is by Burriso Caponi Yachts and Design, a local design firm based in Ravenna. Il progetto nasce dalla stretta collaborazione con gli armatori. Fin dall'inizio hanno espresso chiaramente le loro esigenze. 
sia funzionali che estetiche, avevano le idee molto chiare anche dal punto di vista dello stile e del design. Chiedevano che le scale, la lobby, fosse il fulcro del progetto. Noi abbiamo cercato di valorizzare questa loro richiesta creando una scala totalmente aerea, cioè non ci sono i tenti bene ma ci sono pannelli in cristallo per renderla ancora più aerea. I gradini anche hanno, sono realizzati con una serie di volumi che si sovrappongono. In corrispondenza della scala viene posizionata una scultura sempre su richiesta degli armatori, è una scultura di Giacinto Bosco. This is the open atrium that Francesca was talking about with this plate glass window integrated into the floor, which allows natural light to filter down from the skylight above me, through the upper deck, through the main deck and down to the lower deck. In terms of guest accommodation, we have this airy master suite on the main deck forward with a private study, walk-in wardrobe, his and her bathrooms. And on the lower deck, we have four ensuite guest cabins, two doubles and two twin singles. But one of the highlights of the master stateroom is this. The Sky Lounge on the upper deck is basically a chill-out zone with these lounging sofas, a huge flat screen TV, this games table and opposite a bar unit come pantry. The tender is stowed on the open aft deck and has its own custom designed crane. And on the foredeck there's an open air dinette and a big sun pad that can be shaded by an awning. There is a small beach club in the transom, but the main open air social areas are either on the foredeck or up here on the sun deck, where we have a hot tub forward, this huge bar unit with barbecue, dining facilities for a full complement of guests, of course, and the owners chose to have some workout gear up here as well. Literally a gym with a view. The nerve center of a soup yacht, if you like, is the wheelhouse. And as you'd expect from a shipyard accustomed to building working vessels, it's a good size and the layout is super functional with both a ship's office and the captain's cabin within easy reach of the bridge. This commercial shipbuilding experience is even more apparent in the technical areas that the guests never get to see. So in the bow section, we have a dedicated laundry and a bosun store. There's extra cold and dry storage in the crew quarters on the lower deck. The engine room is laid out so that all the main machinery is easily accessible for maintenance. And there's an inspection tunnel on the under lower deck for accessing the stabilizer compartments and fuel tanks. Hull form is a result of uh, 25 years of experience. 15 of them are mainly in the explorer uh, uh, activities, I mean in the explorer range. So here we reached really a very good balance uh, concerning performance, uh, fuel consumption and, uh, and also sea keeping. We had the chance to go out with a boat in a rough uh, sea, I mean with a Bora in, uh, in Ravenna and uh, in the Adriatic Sea you can also find some uh, tough conditions and the boat was performing very well with the owner on board and, uh, and uh, classification society, everything. As Rossetti Supiot's first yacht project, emotion shows what the brand is capable of. And it's not just a question of the rugged construction or attention to technical details. It's the way they manage the whole industrial process. And that's definitely something that comes from the parent company, Rossetti Marino. And they're confident that they're onto a winner because Rossetti Supiots recently announced that they're about to start construction of a sister ship to Emotion.